The Lagos Police Command has been having a busy schedule in the last few months after the Commissioner of Police, Edgar Mohimi, challenged various sects of anarchists who were commonly called cults in the state to hold their usual meetings, which is normally on July 7th and is tagged Cultist Day. The outcome has been a series of arrests and parade of suspects involved in unlawful activities. In the month of July, a particularly catchy side of the story was discovered in Ilasamaja area of Lagos. That's why we begin this episode of Big Story right there. I'm Ini John Mekwa. Ilasamaja is a suburb of Lagos in Oshudi Solo local government area in the northeastern part of the state. It's an area which has grown from an underdeveloped part in the heart of the mainland of Lagos State to a level which is supposed to be termed developed. In over 50 years, infrastructure certainly increased, as well as individual property. The transformer that I met in 1974-75, you see the one that I'm using up to now, it was uh, containing about uh, four, five hundred um, houses, but today it has about five transformer that be relieved on it. Now, and so far so gone, there be development. You have, you have shanties, but today you have a beautiful houses, a beautiful one. The time I've been here, this place is total village. So nobody living here, myself, my imam here, then myself, we are about just only three person in this area as it is. But today now we have plenty. Many houses, many shops, many them, Musa, we have a go, a go, to go, and so on and so forth. However, a visit to the inner street and some residents reveal that there is still a huge development gap. The challenge is not just about infrastructure. The growth in population has come with security issues. Uh, the problem we are having, we have an uh, uh, armed robbers uh, problem in which our DPO has tried our best to subdue those uh, armed robbers. That one has gone down a little. But now we are having cult people like Aye, uh, like uh, Aye, yeah, and so on and so on. That's Wahala is with us now. Uh, the cultism is coming from, let me say, from the top. What I mean by the top is that from the politicians, from the politicians, to many of the, these boys are being used by politicians. So from the top before, later it enters secondary school. Even as I'm telling you now, it has entered primary school. From primary school now, those who are leaving school now joining these uh, artisans, that program has gone into as a mechanic, workshop, uh, Marua people, Okada people. So this AIA are controlling many of the associations. This AIA, AIA, when you enter community of uh, mechanic, you met them there in community of Okada, in community of um, uh, Marua, they are, they are all over, everywhere. They feel that anybody who has offended them, they just want to take him off. They will say, one fair pardon. So anybody who has offended them, but main things that they, they always fight off is woman. If someone has been shade dating a woman, if another person goes through that woman, that person is losing his life. That, the, all fighting that have been fighting in the last, we haven't had any news of a land matter or house matter. It is only female, female guys problem. Unfortunately, the vice seems to be flourishing in the area in spite of efforts by the police which has led to the arrests of several suspects. One of the reasons which has been linked to this is internal. Elders in the community have been placed at the center of it. Because those, no, those one, that woman being like us, that was children, they didn't fall from a tree, they didn't fall from a tree. They must have a father and mother. And uh, what we are fighting for, we don't want something to repeat again. And then we started this about 15 years ago. Knowing that uh, among us, among the leaders in the community, 
had their own children. We see with this some years ago that uh, we need sanity. You that have a child, and they cannot put the name out, we try to flush it there out, and flushing it out, the mother and the father must come out. And it happened. Some left last alarm because of their children. Some decide to sell what their own property and leave. The story of courtism in Ilasa Maja hit the media recently when a 20-year-old indigent of Ogun State, Miriam Abiola, confessed to have been working with the courts in the area since January 2017. She says she was born and spent her growing up years until she concluded her secondary education with her parents in Lafenwa, Abeokuta, Ogun State. I am 20 years According to her, she's the second of three children to her mother, although her father has four other children from a second wife who unfortunately is late. During her confession, she has this strange attitude of smiling when talking about her activities, a characteristic she cannot explain. Miriam's interaction with the police started after she visited Sadiq Oyewumi, an alleged courtist who was in custody of the police division in Isolo. She went to the police station when she was told that Sadiq had been arrested in search of him. The police got curious and questioned her, and then she started telling what she calls her story 